What's up guys, it's Amanda, and today I have for you the Oloclip 4-in-1 photo lens. This works for both the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus, and it retails for $79. And if we take a look inside here, you can see some sample images over on the left-hand side and some basic information. And on this side over here, it shows that it works for both the front and rear cameras. It includes a fisheye, wide-angle, macro 10 times, and 15 times lenses. And then some more information and sample images on the back. And if we take a look on the inside here, once we remove this, you'll see that it comes with both blue, white, and aqua plastic pieces. And those are your pendants, which allow you to wear that. And I'll show you some examples of that in just a moment. Now this paper here, this wrapped around this, this also serves as your instruction, so don't just toss that away. But it also includes a lanyard, which allows you to wear these around your neck if you choose. And this little bag here contains both your lens caps, which are very important, and you want to make sure you do hang on to those. They, if you're going to wear this or put it on your key ring, it's extremely important to have those on. And you just snap those on, and they stay in place really nicely. Now, I was talking about your instruction manual. This also has your adapter, which is a little insert up here at the top, and that's how you adjust it to fit both your iPhone 6 or the 6 Plus. Now, this paper here just says, show us your photos, and it gives you links if you want to submit them to Oloclip, and I guess maybe they do some giveaways or features or things like that. So I'm going to show you how to insert the iPhone 6 Plus adapter. Don't be like me. There actually is a little adapter up here. I thought that it was built for the 6 and you just use the adapter if you have the 6 Plus, but you actually do have an adapter up here you need, or an insert adapter, I don't know what to call it, that you do need to remove to add the 6 Plus one. If you have the iPhone 6, you don't need to worry about it because they've already got the iPhone 6 insert installed for you and you are ready to go. So if you notice this little gap here, that's normal. Don't sweat it. And if you're wondering why this is a 4-in-1 lens kit, but you only see two lenses, well, they've actually incorporated two of the lenses below. You just unscrew your outer lens, and that reveals the macro lens. And I think that's pretty cool, because then you only have two different lenses to hang on to, and it just makes it handy. Now, speaking of handy, I actually bought this universal phone tripod mount adapter thing, and it holds your phone by tension. It works for both the 6 and 6 Plus with and without cases. Some of my older tripod adapters actually don't work with the 6 Plus just because of its ginormous size, but this one works great with it, and if you're going to do any kind of macro photography, I would really suggest getting a lens. When people walked in the house, it actually shook my camera where you could notice it. So here it is set up on my Joby Gorilla Pod, and it worked out perfect for what I'm going to use it for, which I will show you here in a little bit. I really like the fact that they've included this lanyard and these pendants. I'm personally not going to use the lanyard myself, but I think it makes it really awesome that you just have them there and handy at all times. Again, I won't add it probably to my key ring, but I did take this little clip and just installed it, and I think it makes it perfect to just slap on a bag or a purse or anything like that, and you just have this thing with you and ready anytime you need it. So here's the setup I used. I had lights as close as I possibly could get them, and I had my phone on my tripod adapter and on the Joby Gorilla Pod, and it, sometimes my lens was actually touching these plants. That's how close I was able to get with these. You do want to make sure you use your ear pods to use it for a remote shutter because you will get camera shake if you try to use it, use your finger to actually press the picture button, and that ends up with blurry images, and we don't want that. Well guys, if you want to stick around, I do have some sample images, but they are of flowers, so if you don't want to stick around, I totally get that. But if you could, hit that like button if you did find this video helpful. If you're new to the channel, I'd like to invite you to hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. What's wrong, baby? What are you raging?